testing. Hello, everybody out there. All right, it looks like it's almost showtime, so if everybody wouldn't mind. Check one two okay. one two. Can you hear me? We good? It just depends if you want to stay. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Checking mics. One two three four five. Greetings. I'm Lance Turner, online editor of Arkansas Business. Welcome to the Arkansas Business. And I'm Chris Bond, business special publications publisher. Yep, there it is.
Since 1984, Arkansas Business has been the state's business news authority, providing readers with the latest news and in-depth reporting on all things business in the state of Arkansas. Arkansas Business is also committed to honoring the individuals, companies, and organizations that are making an impact in the state of Arkansas. We live and work in the community, and we're committed to telling the stories of those who make Arkansas great. Today, we tell the story of Arkansas's best places to work, Arkansas is home to some of the best companies in the nation, born and bred out of hard work and determination. Today, we honor you, the employers who inspire and motivate employees, enrich families, and provide a quality of life to the people of our state. As long as there are companies in Arkansas who are as spectacular as you, we want to be here to tell your story. Now it is time to celebrate the best places to work in Arkansas. All right, congratulations, thanks a lot. Greetings everyone, welcome to our Best Places to Work Awards. I'm Lance Turner, the online editor of Arkansas Business. And I'm Chris Bond, publisher of Arkansas Business Special Publications. And on behalf of our staff and sponsors, I wanna welcome you to the 2020 Arkansas, Best, Arkansas Business Best Places to Work Virtual Awards Celebration. Let's give each of you a round of applause for being in this room and on Zoom today and for being a 2020 Best Places winner. This is what we like. We want, we want some big interaction. We want, some, we want a lot of noise. We got yep. smoke machines, we got lights, we got crazy graphics. So we want everybody to take part and really feel a part of this program today. We normally celebrate these honors with a large event in Little Rock. However, of course, with the COVID-19 situation and our inability to host a big gathering to celebrate this year's best places to work with a larger ceremony, we're of course ho hosting this virtual celebration with a small studio audience instead. This is a live broadcast. The honorees are safely distanced here in our studio, but we also have people in offices all over the state watching remotely. And during the broadcast, we'll be cutting away to many of them to help us celebrate those honorees and their coworkers. There are going to be live look-ins and offices across the state. Some have even participated in our best office tropical theme giveaway. So get ready for that fun. Yep. This experience is going to be different than any other best places to work celebration we've hosted the past eight years and we're glad you're joining us today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Yeah, that's right. Big, big, uh, we've, we've got a lot to do today. We've, we've got a giant script and we've got a lot of people to honor. So at this time, we'd like to recognize the sponsors of this year's Best Places to Work Awards without their generosity and support and their flexibility, of course, with this year's live broadcast. This awards program and today's virtual celebration just would not be possible. First, our in-kind sponsors, Arkansas Business Executive Leadership Academy and the Winthrop Rockefeller Institute, which have graciously donated the giveaways for the best office tropical theme, and Colonial Wine and Spirits, which has do donated today's signature cocktails, the Working Folks Blues Cocktail, and many thanks, of course, to our in-kind production sponsor, CWP Productions, which is responsible for this amazing studio production and for managing all of our virtual attendees today, Chris. Also new this year, our presentation will feature special Together Apart video messages from key community members. You may know a few of them. Those videos are sponsored by the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and the Associated Industries of Arkansas. And we'd like to thank our longtime supporting sponsor, Southwest EAP, for their continued support. Let's now give a special thanks to this year's entertainment sponsor, Dine Hospitality Group, who provided the winners with some fun goodies and supported this tropical theme. And at this time, we'd like to welcome our presenting sponsor, Consolidated Admin Services, and welcome President Carrie Stout. Thank you all so very much. Thank you, Arkansas Business, for putting on this event every year and being able to accommodate this year um, in the circumstances that we are. I see on the list, uh, many of you that we work with, um, 
I didn't recognize some of your faces because of our wonderful mask um, that we have to wear, but congratulations to all of you. Um, you know, the years passed, but this year especially, um, to be able to support our um, employees of Arkansas, um, to be able to provide them a, a safe, um, environment to work. Um, you all should be commended so much. And so cheers to you. All right. Thank you very much, Carrie. Carrie's got the right idea, has her drink in hand, and is ready to rock and roll this afternoon. Thanks again to all of our sponsors for making this virtual experience possible. And before we go on, we need to say a special thanks and a special hello to your friend and mine, Moose from Alice 107.7, our DJ for today. Moose is gonna be on the ones and twos for us today, so thanks for Moose for coming out this afternoon. Now, all of you are here today because there's something special happening in your workplaces. You're doing things differently than most businesses across the state, and because of that, you're being recognized as one of the best places to work here in Arkansas. Each year, many companies register for the Best Places to Work program. We work with an outside firm, Best Companies Group, to evaluate all of the responses from your employee surveys. They assess who has met the high bar to be a best place to work in Arkansas. Not all scores meet the requirements to be labeled the best. So we assure you this is not a pay to play program where everyone gets a trophy. There are many companies who complete the survey and are not in this room or joining us on Zoom today. That's right. The standards to get here are substantial and you have earned it. I hope each of you are using this honor along with the best places to work logo and your marketing materials and email signatures and everything you do to recruit and retain top talent here in Arkansas. Later in the program, when we provide information about each of our honorees, please take note of how many in this room are repeat winners. We have three-time, four-time, five-time, and even some rare eight-time winners who are consistently working at building culture and workforce that are second to none. To tell you more about the Best Places to Work program, we want to welcome via Zoom Peter Burke, founder and president of Best Companies Group, and a gentleman who has a wealth of knowledge about what makes great workplaces around the world. Hey, how's everybody? I loved hearing all that applause. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, thank you so much. Um, and greetings from a small little town called, it doesn't really matter. Um, all I know is that COVID-19 has prevented us from celebrating in person like we normally do. But fret not, we are still in the virtual presence of greatness. We still wanna celebrate uh, the best places to work in Arkansas, and this award is perhaps more meaningful than ever before. Now, our firm was once again honored to be the research partner for this designation now in its eighth year, and if this was the normal live event, I would say something like, the best places to work in Arkansas are in the house. Are you ready to celebrate? Woo well, that seems a, a little bit awkward from my home, and my family is probably wondering what the heck is going on in here, but that is totally okay. Now, while this virtual event has many of us tuning in from home, it does not lessen the importance and excitement of this awesome achievement. So congratulations. This award is unlike any other. Simply put, you are being recognized for creating workplaces where your employees love to come to work. But beyond that, you are being honored for being the best of the best in Arkansas at doing just that. Now, our research is teaching us that many organizations are focusing on increasing employee engagement, which is awesome. It is really great to see the increased emphasis on the employee experience. However, even though many are getting better, only a select few will receive this kind of recognition, and that includes the winners tuning in today. Now, our firm, Best Companies Group, conducted the two-part assessment process for all who applied. 25% of the evaluation was based upon the benefits you offer and the cool things that you are doing for your employees. This part is fun. Each year I find new and fun things employers are doing. Some of my favorites include beer cart Fridays, wear whatever you want dress codes, bring your parent to work day, and office closures between Christmas and New Year's. Now, will closing between Thanksgiving and New Year's be next? I don't know, probably, but these are the kinds of uh, benefits that make a huge difference. Now, the other 75% of the evaluation was from part two of the assessment, the employee engagement survey. To recognize workplace greatness credibly, you must ask the employees directly and anonymously what they think, and that is exactly what we did. 
Now, according to most research firms, between 35 and 40% of U.S. employees are considered engaged or connected to their employer. Now, how good are the winners in uh, tuning in compared to that 35%? Well, the answer is very good. How about 91% good? Oh, I can't again. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I, I heard everybody, um, or maybe not, but I'm sure you guys were all cheering too. It's an awesome number, 91%. And this award is deserved for sure. Now, as a result of this remarkable work, your brand as an employer is getting stronger. You will win the battle for talent. You will enjoy reduced turnover and you'll receive better qualified job candidates. Now, where is the bad news in all of that? Now, as I wrap up, I want you to realize that you, while many organizations are struggling to find excellence in this new normal, you are different. Excellence has been normal for you for a long time. So congratulations to the best places to work in Arkansas for 2020. Thanks for allowing me to tune in and give you my two cents and talk a little bit about it. And please, 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 wherever you are, be safe. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks a lot to Peter for taking the time to join us today. And now we're going to move on with the heart of our broadcast. We're here to honor 47 special companies that have been named the best places to work in Arkansas. So go ahead one more time, pat yourselves on the back, give everybody in this room a big round of applause, shake those shakers. So this year we are breaking down the best places to work into two categories medium to small, which is 15 to 249 employees, and large, 250 employees or more. After recognizing each respective company, we will ask those present company reps to join us on stage to collect your fam framed profile and specially tiki-themed cocktail <laughs> provided by Colonial Wine and Spirits and presented by the Dine Hospitality Group. Those of you who are unable to join us in person, we will switch over to you and have a representative virtually accept with a wave. That's right. And since we love, since you know, we're in business, so we're all about competition. Right. After each company has been recognized, we'll then honor and announce the top five highest scoring companies in each of those categories. The Grand Benchmark Award, which goes to the overall highest scoring company, will be announced at the end of the program. This company's representatives will then have the opportunity to come on stage and provide brief acceptance remarks. And in addition, Today, to our uh, Together Apart videos, we'll also have live company Skybox and watch parties joining us to give brief congratulatory remarks. So now, let's kick off our event with our very first Together Apart video. Hey everybody, this is Jeff Amrine. I'm really honored to say a few words about all those companies that were recognized as the best places to work in Arkansas. I'm Heather Larkin, President and CEO of Arkansas Community Foundation. I am thrilled to have this opportunity to thank all the companies and employers across the state who have gone above and beyond in taking care of their employees during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's been a tough time on all of us. However, we have seen remarkable innovation, compassion, and resilience. We've all been dealing with a lot of really difficult circumstances during the pandemic. And yet some of you have built company cultures that attract the best talent and make people really want to hang in there and work hard. Congratulations to all of you that received this recognition. To all of those who have put the well-being of their employees and their co-workers front and center, thank you. Thank you for all you are doing to help build a strong culture of corporate responsibility that serves us all. All right. Well, first up in our small to medium category, 15 to 249 employees, is Braswell & Son Pawnbrokers, a six-time winner. And joining us, Douglas Braswell and Brent West. Braswell & Son has taken all the cleanliness and distancing precautions possible during the COVID-19 pandemic, including dedicated workstations, temperature checks at each shift, curbside service for high-risk customers, remote work, and hero pay bonuses for employees. And now joining us, our very first watch party of the day. Let's take a moment to get some congratulations and hear from the folks at Braswell & Son. Guys. There they are. Congratulations to all of you and thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Anything you'd like to say? Okay. People, a few words. They're all business. We like that. 
keeping their eye on the bottom line. Congratulations to Braswell and Sons. And now we'll move on to our next honoree, Chris. All right, up next, we have uh, Spencer Andrews joining us via Zoom from BSR Re. This is their fourth year as a program winner. As the COVID-19 pandemic hit, BSR came through for its employees with no layoffs and extended paid time off for childcare. BSR expanded resources to allow working from home and leasing apartments remotely. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor with a wave. Hey, Spencer. Also, right. we've got congratulations uh, coming from our virtual viewers who are giving you all a wave for being named a best place to work. All right, congratulations again to BSR Reef. All right, moving on, now let's welcome to the stage Jill Hinton and Adam Mitchell of Citizens Bank. This is their second time being recognized as a best place to work. Congratulations. Citizens Bank encourages professional growth through its EDGE program, which stands for Education, Development, Guidance, and Experience. As part of the EDGE program, participants expand skill sets through internal and external development experiences and activities. Well done to everyone at Citizens Bank, and congratulations from everyone here today via our virtual cheering sections. Congratulations. We're, we're so glad uh, that Citizens Bank could join us today. And uh, up next, we have Barry Simon and Tamara Hargrove from Datamax, who is a four-time winner. Yeah. Not, not only does Datamax provide free annual flu shots, but they also offer annual biometric health and wellness screenings at no charge to the employees. That's a great benefit to have with everything that's going on lately. No, no, no. Uh, and uh, your co-workers are joining us here for a uh, watch party. <laughs> did, did, did you guys joining us have uh, any congratulations you wanted to offer? Anything to say? You Nothing. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we appreciate the honor and thank all the employees you're looking at right now. It's been a great run. Great. All right, congratulations. fantastic. Congratulations to Datamax. <laughs> some shy folks today, but I have a feeling as, as we move along. We need them to have some drinks we in need the office. I know, we need some office drinks. Yeah. So let's work on office drinks in the remote sites. Up next, we have Kelly Carney and Felicia Papp from Delta Dental of Arkansas of Sherwood, one of our rare eight-time winners. Delta Dental of Arkansas has shown they're committed to providing an outstanding and well-rounded employee experience. With the COVID-19 situation, Delta Dental allowed employees to use emergency time off with 100% compensation from March 19th to June the 30th, regardless of how many hours they worked. The company also added 80 teleworkers, handed out surprise bonuses and care packages, and provided masks and other protective gear for their employees. Delta Dental also has a special watch party, so let's turn it over to them, guys. Congratulations again to Delta Dental of Arkansas. And now let's introduce Kenny Kinley and Amy Bean from Adafio Technology Partners of North Little Rock. To show their commitment to their employees, Adafio's leadership participates in traditional programs like profit sharing, quarterly bonuses, and technical training development programs. Let's hear it from all of your fans in our virtual cheering section. Yeah, congratulations. All right, congratulations to Adolfio for being a three-time winner of our program. Now let's welcome for the fourth time, Mallory Rhodes and Taylor Mulhern from Integrity of Little Rock. Yeah. Upon hire, every employee at Integrity is issued a laptop and a company cell phone. This helped ease the transition to working from home as no new equipment was needed and there was no interruption in workflow when the COVID-19 pandemic began. Congratulations to Integrity from all your friends live right now 
in our virtual cheering sections. Congratulations. Congratulations to Integrity and their team. And now, um, this year is a best place, first time as a best place to work winner is Evo Business Environments. And joining us on stage today is Chris Serrato and Zach Serrato. Yeah. Evo fosters a culture that puts others first and encourages better teamwork and company pride. The Evo team is passionate about creating amazing work environments for people to work, learn, and heal. They even hire a masseuse to come to the office and give free massages to their employees. Yeah. Evo has a watch party on deck, so let's turn it over to them. All right. That's a festive group there. How do you guys get anything done? Look at that. Congratulations to Evo and everyone who joined us virtually. Next up, another first time winner is First Service Bank of Greenbrier and joining us on stage, Kenneth Bernard and Robin Hackett. First Service Bank's culture team visits their branches and provides meals and games to boost employee morale and to keep work fun. They have a hoopla team, everyone needs one of those, keeps, the, keeps people aware of the company culture while organizing unique events for entertainment. And the First Service Bank team is now joining us live from their own watch party. Let's turn it over to the First Service team. Guys? <laughs> Well, well done, First Service Bank. Now we have a three-time winner, FNBC Bank, and joining us via Zoom is Stephen Braun. FNBC Bank is a small community bank that is committed to fostering a family atmosphere. They offer adoption assistance, such as reimbursement of agency fees, travel fees, legal assistance, and paid time off before and after adoption. Let's all give FNBC a huge round of applause. Congratulations to them as they accept virtually. And congratulations uh, from all of our friends in the virtual cheering section. All right. Everybody's fired up. <laughs> congratulations to you and your team. Next up, we have Harrison Energy Partners. They're joining us for the sixth year in a row, and representing them here today is Mike McClellan and Bill Harrison. Congratulations, guys. Harrison Energy Partners CEO Bill Harrison is committed to his unique company culture. Harrison Energy covers 90% of employees' medical insurance and 50% of short-term disability and life insurance. They also provide a 401k plan with company matching and 100% investment or vesting rather from the very first day in the office. Join me in congratulating Harrison Energy Partners and congratulations from all your friends in our virtual cheering section. Thanks for being here with us today. Next up, we have another first time winner, Hug and Hall Mobile Storage. And joining us on stage is Art Kinneman and Jim Hug. Yeah. Hug, Hug and Hall incorporates team building activities by providing regular lunch and happy hours to boost team morale occasionally shutting down the office early to connect with team members and engaging in volunteer works at local nonprofits. Let's check in with our virtual cheering section as they join the celebration. There they are, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations to Hug and Hall on another key accomplishment at their company. Next up, we have ImageWorks Commercial Interiors, a first time winner this year. Joining us via Zoom is Allie Anderson, who is with us live from their ImageWorks watch party. ImageWorks Commercial Interiors is committed to building and sustaining a culture of diversity and inclusion that stands on its character to always do the right thing. ImageWorks is investing in a corporate training program, demonstrating a commitment to developing talent and as an open door policy for situational conversations. Now let's go live to the ImageWorks watch party. Let's take a moment to hear from them, guys. All right, thank you to everyone at ImageWorks. 
Next up, we have a three-time winner, Movista. Joining us via Zoom to accept virtually is Jennifer Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there she is. To, to support Oops. employee wellness, Movista offers three bicycles and two electric scooters that employees can borrow to hit the Razorback Greenway Trail or take a quick ride to downtown Bentonville or the Market District. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor. Congratulations. Also from the virtual church, I think she was in Tahiti actually. They have internet down there now. That's fantastic how we can do those things. Congratulations to the folks there. Congratulations to Movista. Now coming up, our, another, our next winner, a five-time winner of the program, Perks Worldwide. And joining us today is Tony Taylor and Sammy Shadid. Motivation is considered a part of the Perks Worldwide DNA. Perks offers a culture in which employees feel valued and invested in the company. From team building events to pre-COVID happy hour, Perks prioritizes keeping their employees connected. Congratulations to Perks. And now let's hear some noise from their virtual cheering section. Congratulations. Well done, Perks Worldwide. Let's now welcome two-time winner, Phygenix, and joining us on stage is Ashton McCombs and James Schaefer. Yeah. Through its programs and initiatives, Phygenix has fostered an atmosphere of support, professionalism, and growth. As a result of COVID-19, Phygenix changed its sick time policies, allowed changes to FSA plans, and allowed employees to pull additional funds for 401k loans and distribution. Let's give a huge round of applause for Phygenix. Yeah. And a good group on that virtual cheering section today. Congratulations. Next up on the program, we have Rainwater, Holt, and Sexton, a six-time winner of this program. And joining us via Zoom is Baron Gould. Congratulations to Baron. Rainwater, Holt, and Sexton stands by its dedication to provide a great work environment from employee perks, community involvement, and wellness initiatives that promote a strong sense of accomplishment and culture throughout their organization. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor. Baron, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And more from our virtual cheering section. Way to go, guys. Congrats to Rainwater, Holt, and Sexton. Now let's welcome first-time winner Roof Connect of Sheridan. And joining us on stage is David Workman and Wade Crosswhite. <laughs> Roof Connect is the largest national commercial roofing services provider specializing in emergency roofing repairs, and they're housed right here in Sheridan. Roof Connect's leadership strives to be supportive and recognizes that investing in, investing in employees is an investment in the company. Their working environment is lighthearted, fun, and family-oriented with an emphasis on celebrating the company victories as a team. Thank you for being here with us today, Roof Connect, and let's raise the roof with our virtual cheering section. Yeah. All right, congratulations to Roof Connect. Joining us next is Millie Ward and Larry Stone of Stone Ward, a first time winner of today's program. Stone Ward is an employee owned uh, company through the employee stock ownership plan with annual contributions made based on profits. This, along with a traditional 401k plan, makes up one of the most generous retirement plans in the industry. Congratulations to Stone Ward and congratulations from our virtual cheering section. Way to go, Stone Ward. Next up, we have three-time winner TRS Healthcare. And joining us today is Taylor Fott and Chris Glover. TRS Healthcare, all efforts center on empowering nurses to comfort and restore the lives of others. TRS offers unlimited paid time off, holiday celebrations, happy hours, and stress relief goodie bags delivered to employees at home. Congrats to everyone at TRS, 
and every, from everyone joining us today here in our studio and virtual cheering section. Congratulations. Thanks to TRS for being here with us today. Unfortunately, VCC Construction, a five-time winner of the program, was unable to join us today, but we wanted to make sure to honor them as well. VCC shows its appreciation to staff in a number of ways with employee lunches and activities, Mr. Potato Head contests, whatever that is, <laughs> ice cream trucks, and a Rolex for employees who reach a 20-year work anniversary. Please join us in congratulating VCC. So you just, Lance, just enjoyed a 20-year anniversary with us. I did. Uh, no Rolex? No Rolex. Talk to Mitch. We need to get that settled. We're going to write a memo, a strongly worded memo, That's when right. we return to That's the office. That's right. Uh, congratulations to VCC. Now we'd like to introduce Wells Co., who also was unable to join us today, uh, but we still want to recognize them as being a five-time winner of this program. Wellsco is a family-owned business that has been around since 1941. Some activities they offer to their employees include, or pre-COVID rather, were trips to the horse races, dog track, art studios, and team building events like escape rooms. So congratulations to Wellsco on behalf of everyone in the studio and of course at Arkansas Business. Congratulations. Next up now we have Wonder State Box Company and this is their first time winning. With us here today is Jeremy Toll and Todd Tipton. Wonder State Box Company has, committed, has a committed leadership team that cares about the people within its organization. The company strives to provide upward mobility, recruiting from within, and developing talent that benefits the company and employees' personal growth goals. And joining us live is the Wonder State Box Company watch party. Let's take a moment to hear from them, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, congratulations to Jimmy, Todd, and the Wonder State Box Company. Next up, we have three-time winner, Wright Lindsay Jennings, and joining us on stage is Adrian Baker and Dee Dee Govaya. Right, Lindsay Jennings is committed to its company flexibility and has supported their employees during this time by adding additional perks and benefits. During the COVID-19 pandemic, their IT department created an online check-in tool so that the majority of their employees could begin working from home. They also advanced paid time off, instituted casual dress, Friday lunches, and early quitting times. We've got a few folks in our virtual cheering section today, so let's roll through there and say congrats. Well done. The lawyers were up here taking shots just a second ago. You see that? <laughs> They know what it's all about. Congratulations to Wright, Lindsay, and Jennings. And a huge congratulations to all 24 companies in the small to medium category. You are all winners. But now we'll recognize the top five companies in this category in alphabetical order who have gone the extra mile to make their company a best place to work. And they are Delta Dental of Arkansas, FNBC Bank, Perks Worldwide, Phygenics, and Stone Ward. Again, big congratulations to all five of those companies. And now we've got a special video message from our community members. We all know Arkansas is a great place to work, live, and raise a family. Today we celebrate 47 companies that have gone the extra mile to make their company a best place to work in Arkansas. I want to congratulate those 47 companies that are being recognized today as one of the top businesses in Arkansas to work for. The pandemic of 2020 has thrown up unprecedented challenges. COVID-19 has forced businesses of all sizes to reconsider nearly every aspect of their operation. In spite of the obstacles, the Arkansas businesses you're honoring have found ways to make their company not only a good place to work, but one of the best places to work. So congratulations to all the businesses. Thank you for what you're doing. Congratulations on the honor. Thank you for all you do to improve the quality of life in Arkansas.
Now let's get started with our large category, 250 employees and up. Let's kick off the category by welcoming to the stage Chip Bayer and Marsha Hopkins of Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, who is one of our rare eight-time winners of the program. Even before the pandemic, Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield focused on employee health and wellness with an on-site clinic, fitness and wellness programs, and healthy dining options. The company also sees to employees professional help with its Leadership Development Institute. Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield has another of today's watch party. So let's take a moment to hear from them. Take it away. That's a, that's a good group you got there. All right, congratulations to Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield who joined us virtually. Next up, we have Arkansas Children's. This is their first time winning. Joining us today via Zoom is Vaughn Tiffany Smith. Arkansas Children's consistently demonstrates its commitment by caring for its caregivers while they care for others. Hey, Vaughn Tiffany, how are you? This year, Arkansas Children's launched its concierge service to allow employees to access services like oil changes, dry cleaning, and grocery shopping while they're working. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor. And also, Arkansas Children's has its own watch party, so let's join them now, right live now. Guys, are you there? Okay. Well, there you have it. Okay, congrats again to everyone at uh, Arkansas Children's. Now we're gonna invite three-time winner, Arkansas Electric Cooperative to the stage. And joining us today is Buddy Hassan and Maria Bunting Smedley. Yeah. Arkansas Electric Cooperatives unites to create an environment that encourages teamwork and common purpose of serving others. Arkansas Electric recognizes quality performance with its peer-nominated Employee of the Year program and the Willie Wirehand Cooperative Spirit Award. Congratulations from all of us at Arkansas Business and congrats from our virtual cheering section. Let's have a, let's, let's yeah. give them a hand. All right, well done to Arkansas Electric Cooperative. Joining us next is Arkansas Federal Credit Union, a five-time winner of the program. On stage now is Heather Savage and Taylor Bishop. Arkansas Federal Credit Union has contributed more than $2.5 million to local charities in the past 20 years. The Federal Credit Union gives its employees 48 hours for community service during working hours in the belief that giving back to others helps individuals feel, feel more fulfilled. Congratulations from us and congratulations from our virtual cheering section. All right, congratulations to AFCU. And now we have first time winner, Arkansas Hospice. Joining us on stage, Melissa De Santiago and Judy Wooten. <laughs> to show their appreciation, to show their employees how much they appreciate a good time, Arkansas Hospice hosts an annual employee appreciation banquet at the governor's mansion, featuring a social hour and a program that includes supervisor presentations expressing gratitude for their years of service. The Arkansas Hospice team is joining us from their watch party. So let's take a moment and uh, hear from them. Yeah. That's fantastic. They've got explosives and all kinds of things <laughs> happening there. Congratulations to Arkansas Hospice. It's, you know, and it's really, what's interesting is seeing all the many first time winners that we have. I mean, we've got a lot of multiple year winners, but the first time winners, it's always very cool to see them. And speaking of first time winners, we've got another, and that's Bank OZK. And joining us here today is Ashley Henderson and Tim Alder.
Bank OZK, of course, is a nationally recognized company, one of the highest performing banks in the country. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Bank OZK expanded paid leave for employees, added CARES Act provisions, enhanced telemedicine and EAP communications, as well as implementing multiple lobby safety policies. And of course, the Bank OZK team is joining us from their skybox. Let's take a moment to hear from them, guys. Congratulations, Banco ZK, on your first time win. Next yeah. up, we have two time winner, Baxter Regional Medical Center. And joining us on stage is Natalie Amato and Julia Blanchard. <laughs> Baxter Regional Medical Center has over 260 beds and is guided by a values based culture of excellence. Employees receive free wellness counseling, a Zen room, I'd like to know more about that, yeah. and have access to a weekly employees only farmers market. BRMC created an employee crisis fund to aid employees needing emergency assistance due to serious illness, an accident, or natural disaster. Now let's turn it over to your skybox and let them say a few words. On behalf Baxter Regional family, we are honored to uh, be named one of the Arkansas businesses' uh, best places to work in Arkansas for the second consecutive year. I, I like the fake out. You thought it was just the guy on screen, and then yeah, yeah, they yeah. went wild. I, I want to know more about the fedora guy. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to you and your team at Baxter Regional. Joining us next via Zoom is Lindy Jurisic from BNSF Logistics, a four-time winner of our program. BNSF Logistics Foster, there she is. Congratulations. BNSF Logistics fosters a collaborative and inclusive environment supported by company policies. Leaders of the organization have been praised for creating an employee first culture of transparency. The company launched the employee communications app BNSFL Connect in 2019, and it has been a valuable tool during the COVID-19 pandemic for keeping dispersed workforce connected. Congratulations to BNSF as they virtually accept this honor. And congratulations from your virtual cheering section as well. Thanks to everyone at BNSF. And up next, we have two-time winner, CHI St. Vincent of Hot Springs. Let's welcome Dr. Douglas Ross and Brian Williams to the stage. CHI St. Vincent Hot Springs believes in fostering and caring for their employees physically, emotionally, socially, and spiritually, believing that healthcare is a basic human right. Fun and camaraderie are promoted with sponsored events like Heritage Week and award celebrations. Many of the St. Vincent team are joining us from their live watch yeah. party in Hot Springs. Let's hear from them. All right, congratulations to the folks at St. Vincent on your second year win. Now we have Conway Regional Health System and joining us are Ashley Pierce and Courtney Lloyd. This is Conway Regional's fourth time winning this program, and that's because they believe that focusing on a culture of family and teamwork results in a positive place to work for employees. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Conway Regional expanded working from home, free childcare services, free meals, and so much more. And your team is joining us today from your watch party. So now let's hear from the folks at Conway Regional. All right, well, well done to the Conway Regional Health Team. Next up, we have Hub Group. And unfortunately, they were unable to join us today, but they've done some pretty cool things for their employees that we're gonna tell you about. Hub Group's Fayetteville office is located along a multi-use trail that gives employees the perfect opportunity to focus on their wellness, even during work hours. 
beats a walk around the block. <laughs> uh, employees participate in local activities such as company kickball leagues, baseball, and corporate games. Let's give another big congratulations to everyone at the Hub Group. And from our virtual cheering section as well. Congratulations to everyone at Hub Group. Now joining us next, Kimball Mechanical Systems, a six-time winner of the program. Joining us on stage are Gene Dressel and Rob Kimball. Kimball Mechanical believes that success is directly related to a company's culture. Through company-wide catered breakfasts for 450 employees, quarterly contests, and supporting charities, Kimball provides an atmosphere where employees can enjoy their work. Congratulations to Kimball Mechanical and congratulations from your virtual cheering section. Congrats once again to Kimball. Uh, next up, we have a two-time winner, Medical Center of South Arkansas. And joining us on stage is Alex Bennett and Scott Street. <laughs> Medical Center of South Arkansas believes in the power of people to create great patient care. The Medical Center provides team members with quarterly gifts of $300 and a plaque to recognize their hard work and dedication. They also recognize the team member of the year with $1,000 and an all expense paid trip to Nashville for a recognition banquet. That is some special treatment. That's good stuff, yep. Medical Center of South Arkansas has another of today's watch parties. Let's go to them now. Fantastic. All right. Those were our first coconut brawls of the day, I think. <laughs> they tried to get us up here and Yeah, some. yeah. Congratulations to Medical Center of South Arkansas today. Good effort. Joining us next via Zoom is June Miles of Publishing Concepts, who is a two-time winner of the program and last year's Benchmark Award recipient. And there they are, yeah, congratulations. Publishing Concepts believes in staying true to its goals of not being the biggest, but being the best. And their employees embody that culture. Publishing Concepts welcomes new associates to its team with a fun house party that includes music, food, and sometimes crazy hat contests. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor with a big wave. And congratulations from the folks in the virtual cheering section. Oh, they're, uh, they're, they're just hanging out at the bar. All right. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Next up, uh, we, we have Ralph Coleman, <laughs> th a three-time winner. And joining us live via Zoom is uh, Jennifer Owens and Candace Aikens. <laughs> Ralph Coleman Development Group yeah. is a values-driven company believing that in order to properly serve customers, they must first serve their team members. Ralph Coleman offers its employees two health plan options, annual sales team summits, fun outings like bowling, top golf, and Dave and Buster's, just to name a few. This is their third year of being a best place to work in Arkansas. Not only that, they've been recognized as a best place to work in Oklahoma and in Texas. All right. You also have some folks in your virtual cheering section today to say congratulations. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks to Roush Coleman for being with us here today. Next up is a third time winner, Simmons Bank. Joining us on stage is Jenna Compton and Matt Redden. Simmons Bank has grown from a statewide bank to a more than $20 billion asset company with the help of its employees. Simmons believes in leadership mentoring programs like NextGen that accelerate robust career development for all associates. They can also take advantage of financial literacy courses, pet insurance, and adoption assistance. And the Simmons Bank team also has a watch party. Let's turn it over to them for their congratulations, guys. All right, thanks for joining us, Simmons Bank, in person and virtually. Joining us next is Southern Bank Corps, a first time winner of the program. Joining us are Nathan Pittman and Andrea Parnell.
Southern thrives on a culture of accountability. It instills its mission first approach for employees by rewarding them for living its core values of relationship, accountability, innovation, sustainability, and empowerment, also known as RAISE. The monetary reward that goes along with this can sometimes total a grand prize of $2,000. A big congrats from everyone joining us today and from our virtual cheering section. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right, well, congratulations to Southern Bank Corp. Moving on, our next honoree is St. Bernard's Medical Center, an impressive eight-time winner of our program, and I believe they have not been able to join us today, unfortunately, but we're gonna talk about them. Oh, no, there's, there's, there's Lori Smith live. Yeah, congratulations. Let's give a big hand. There's Lori. St. Bernard's is a leader in the Jonesboro healthcare system and has been a trusted provider of compassionate and comprehensive health care. It offers its employees after school or summer programs for school aged children and sponsored elder care assistance for those with aging family members. Congratulations to them as they virtually accept this honor with a big wave. Congratulations. And more from our virtual cheering section. Congratulations on this accomplishment, St. Bernard's Hospital, where I was born. A little oh, shout out there, there you go. Jonesboro. Yeah. They did a good job. They, they, did, a, they did a decent they, job that time. I'm, I'm here. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, and now another first time winner, Summit Utilities. Joining us also via Zoom is Kim Lynham. Hey, Kim. Yeah. Summit Utilities is a growing natural gas utility providing service to homes and businesses in Arkansas and Oklahoma. Summit strives to create and embrace a diverse work environment that demands engagement and celebrates new and varying ideas. Summit Utilities has won six consecutive Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield Blue and U Wellness competitions. That's great, I yeah. need some of that. Please join me in congratulating them as they virtually accept this honor, Kim. Thank you to uh, Kim, Summit Utilities, and our virtual cheering section. All right, congratulations again to Summit. Now joining us is another two-time winner, Supreme Lending and Ashley Berryman, who, Ashley may be the person who is not making there's it. There's Ashley. Oh no, there's, why am I? Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, Ashley, I see you. You're there, I got you. I don't know what I'm doing. The Supreme Lending culture is a culture in which the customer comes first, and that can't happen without great employees who care. Supreme Lending offers flexible work hours, team building opportunities, and it rewards performers in several ways, including offering paid trips as prizes. And now, let's go live to the Supreme Lending Skybox. Guys, take it away. Or... Or that's fine. We'll just all say congratulations and well done, great Supreme job. Lending. Thanks, Ashley. Next up, we have a six-time winner, Total Quality Logistics. And joining us on stage is Morgan Hudson and Brandon Austin. Total Quality Logistics has an energetic culture centered around celebrating victories, big and small. TQL Cares is the company's charitable giving program that was established in 2006. And this is astounding to me, 82% of their employees are engaged in charitable giving and community action, supporting more than 1,900 nonprofit organizations. And your team is uh, joining us from a watch party. Let's hear from, from them, TQL. All right, thanks for TQL uh, for being with us today. That's a, that's a great legacy of giving that they've undertaken there. That's some good stuff. Absolutely. Joining us next, Travel Nurse Across America, a seven time winner of the program. Please welcome Ashley Graham and Cheryl Harris. Travel Nurse Across America focuses on a family atmosphere, putting emphasis on work-life balance and appreciates that what that means when it comes to mental health. 
Travel Nurse Across America supports nurses development with a $2,500 scholarship to an individual seeking a BSN degree. Congratulations to you and congratulations from our virtual cheering section. Congratulations to you both and to your whole, t whole team. Up next, our honoree is U.S. Able Life. They are a five-time winner of the program. And joining us on stage is Barbara Page and Andrew Hoddle. <laughs> U.S. Able has a commitment to the overall well-being of employees, including their professional growth and physical and mental health. U.S. Able Life offers industry-specific classes along with education assistance programs as part of their training. They also offer an idea bank, which is an online tool for employees to submit ideas to potentially receive awards up to $500. Congratulations to everyone at U.S. Able Life and congratulations from our virtual cheering section. All right, congratulations to U.S. Able on that accomplishment. And once again, a big congratulations to all 23 companies in the large business category. You are all winners. But now we want to take a moment to recognize the top five companies in this category in alphabetical order, no particular, well, alphabetical order, who have gone the extra mile to make sure the company is the best place to work in Arkansas. They are Medical Center of South Arkansas, Publishing Concepts, Supreme Lending, Total Quality, Quality Logistics, and U.S. Able Life. Special congratulations again to these five companies. And now a special final video message from our community members. Hi, I'm Frank Scott Jr., Mayor of Arkansas's capital city, Little Rock. 2020 has been extremely rough on most folks and businesses. We know it's been a tough year, and especially for business and small local business, but we just want to say thank you for your continued support. We're just so proud of the hospitality industry and the food service being collaborative and creative. Congratulations to those organizations that are being recognized this year as a best place to work in Arkansas. Thank you, Arkansas Business, for recognizing the continued need to showcase Arkansas's brightest during one of our country's darkest moments. And to the Little Rock companies on this list, I'm so thankful for your presence in our city. Keep up the great work. Three cheers, and I hope you can come by Lob Lolly and celebrate with a scoop of ice cream. And thanks again to everyone who took part in those Together Apart videos, the governor, the mayor, we appreciate your words of encouragement uh, during this time. We've now honored 47 companies today, and while each of you are all winners, one company scores has ranked at the top of the list as set forth by the criteria of the best companies group. As such, this company has earned the right to be named the winner of the Benchmark Award, the state's top overall workplace. When we announce the name of the Benchmark Award winner, we'd like you to make your way to the stage and give some brief remarks. And now the winner of the Benchmark Award as Arkansas's best place to work is Phygenics. Please welcome back to the stage. Yeah. Welcome to the stage, James Schaefer and Ashton McComb, and uh, we're going to take a quick picture here. If you don't yeah, care, yeah. if you don't mind me getting too, I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> and it's yours. Wow, this is really unexpected. Uh, you know, with a crazy year that we've had in 2020, you know, our employees employees have done a fantastic job over and over again. Um, a lot of our employees are essential uh, since we work with healthcare. Um, They've, they've shown us, you know, what it really means to be, you know, hardworking and uh, dedicated um, in their careers. So thank you so much for this honor, and thank you so much to our employees, most of all, and uh, thank you. All right. 
Congratulations again to Phygenics. I also want to say congratulations to each company that's represented here and on Zoom as a 2020 winner. Uh, as we have said and cannot say enough, if you made the list this year, considering all we've been through, this is especially meaningful. So give yourselves a hand one more time. All right, now it's time for another fun part of the show, a time for giveaways. If you purchased a Skybox or a Watch Party package, you were automatically entered to win one of two prizes. The first prize is from the Winthrop Rockefeller Retreat. The winner's group will be able to take a socially distanced retreat to foster connections and team building during an overnight stay at The Orchard, a historic self-contained lodging facility with 10 private bedrooms and baths, a connected common living area, and a fully equipped kitchen. And the winner of that award is Medical Center of South Arkansas. Congratulations. All right. And we have another giveaway. Chris. We do. The second prize package is sponsored as, as a sponsored seat at the Spring Arkansas Business Executive Leadership Academy for a qualified executive within your organization. Uh, I see several folks who have been through the program that are here today. Maria, Adrian, great to have you guys here with us. Uh, the Executive Leadership Academy is a five session program that provides fantastic growth opportunities for emerging corporate leaders, nonprofit directors, small business owners, and entrepreneurs. And the winner of the Executive Leadership Academy uh, slot is Braswell and Son. Let's congratulate them. Yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations to those winners. And now joining us live via Zoom, we'd like to welcome Michael Brown of the Insight Leadership Group, a facilitator for the Executive Leadership Academy. And Michael would like to say a few words of congratulations to all our winners today. Michael? Well, it's an honor to be with you all today and congratulations. We know that in 2019, it has been a hard year, a challenging year. And our mission is all about helping leaders uh, be healthy. We've all been been there over the years, especially in 2019, 2020, we've been drained and exhausted. Our mission is about helping leaders uh, develop their soft skills while leveraging their strengths. And we help you rest, hustle, and grind to so be transformative, who love life at work and love life at home. So keep up the work, keep up the great work of investing in your team, investing in your team so they can love life at work with you to be a best place to work and love life when they leave and go home, oftentimes from the kitchen to the living room, for some from the bedroom to the kitchen. It's been an odd year on Zoom. And so congratulations to everyone for being a part of this. Braswell and Sons, I look forward to seeing you all in the spring for the Arkansas Business Executive Leadership Academy. Have a great afternoon, great rest of the week. All right. Well, thank you very much, Michael. We'd now like to say a special thank you to those who purchased a Skybox package to support today's ceremony. And as a reminder, you are also welcome and encouraged to register now for the 2021 Best Places to Work program. Please encourage your clients and others in the business community to take advantage of the amazing data and reporting that you will receive through participation in this program. You can register today, this very moment, if you'd like to, at arkansasbusiness.com slash bestplaces. We also wanna say thank you again to our in-kind sponsors who helped make this event fun and exciting. I'll be visiting the Tiki Bar here in a minute. Uh, and before we close our program, we wanna say thanks to our entertainment sponsor, Dine Hospitality Group, for sponsoring our tropical theme today. Also, thank you so much to our video sponsor, the Arkansas State Chamber and Associated Industries of Arkansas. That's right, and also our event sponsor, Southwest EAP. And last but certainly not least, a huge thank you again to our presenting sponsor, Consolidated Admin Services, for making this event today possible. Without each of your support, this virtual event would not have been possible. And from those of you celebrating from the comfort of your home or conference room, thank you for joining us today. And that concludes today's Best Places to Work in Arkansas program. Have a great day, and we'll see you next year.
I'm a sad 